Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I want to show you very quickly two devices from uh, Tektronix. One is an uh, oscilloscope. The, I don't think that they prefixed it already with DSO, but it is a digital storage oscilloscope. And it is the 224. And these are one of these cool baby oscilloscopes. And, uh, but I'm still looking for the software and uh, I went to, of course, first the general search on, on Google, and then you, well, I sent an email to Tektronix. I'm not sure Tektronix answered that email, or they just answered, uh, it's not available. I, I forgot, I need to be honest about this. Uh, but I don't have the software, and the software is called uh, CAT200, CAT200. And uh, I found one message on the Tektronix forum, and they said you can use let me be uh, some uh, it was a tektronic uh, employee i think or someone who had the name tektronix uh, in there who answered he said well we don't have the software anymore but uh Metra tech does have the waveform manager pro But that link also didn't work anymore and I didn't find the waveform manager also. So if you have that, <laughs> please <laughs> contact me and then uh, I will share it also in the this video because a lot of people are still looking for it and uh, didn't find it. The same problem I have with, uh, it's also pretty cool. It is a um, cable TV analyzer with a big LCD screen and, uh, and we have a little closer look at it, but a real extensive video will come later. Um, so it is made for cable TV, but the cool thing is it can also do uh, DVB, but it also has a spectrum analyzer. And the spectrum analyzer is not even that bad. Okay, it's not as fast as my cyclant, of course, and it doesn't do minus 160 dBs. Uh, but it actually performs quite good and we can even just receive commercial radio and I will show that so it does mean it is sensitive because on the cyclant I needed to put my preamp on and everything so I had a quick look um, when you when you do it on TV analyzing I think uh, sensitivity is like minus uh, 35 dB that's not necessarily very much but the signal is also very strong but if you put it in a general mode spectrum analyzer, it goes to minus 60 or 65. So that is, starts to be serious. So that is pretty cool. Uh, this is an uh, RFM151 and it's called the Signal Scout. And I uh, look also on the forum of Tektronic and it turned out it was sold to Tempo. And Tempo is a Textron company and they communicate these days with uh, uh, Tempo Communications. And uh, I said, well, okay, I just sent an email there. First, the guy said, well, that is not our product. You need to go to Tektronix because it clearly says Tektronix. So I forward him in a picture of the forum from Tektronix. And then he said, oh, yeah, sorry, you're right. I will ask one of my old colleagues <laughs> because apparently uh, he didn't know about this model even existed. And then he came back after a few days with, uh, with the manual. So I do have the manuals. Also about the software. And the software is called uh, CSS151. And that is also very difficult to find. So if you own one of these or your did own and maybe you have the software could you please share it with me i will share it also in the neatest video people are looking for this so let's play so the tektronix uh, 224 pretty cool small well maybe you cannot really see the the size but i will compare it to another one it has two channels completely isolated so that is uh, good it has a real tube so in the end, it is sort of, well, the best of two worlds and they could really make it compact. And, uh, and this is the 224, so that means it's two channels, 60 megahertz. And also found, and that one was the Power Scout. It was completely yellow, but that one is uh, 10 megahertz, but it can do, 
I think it is motor triggering compared to the 224, and this one just has line trigger. While the 222, I think, is up to 10 megahertz also, but doesn't have either of those. And that is more or less the same. Sample rate, I think, is 10 mega samples per second. That is not that much for 60 megahertz, but for that time, of course, the battery pack is missing. I found already videos, so when I do my serious video, I will also put uh, the batteries back in there, just a very simple solution. I saw Mr. Carlson did one with eight cells. I saw someone else do six cells. Well, you need around eight volts, but apparently it's not that critical. So I'm gonna do that, not too complicated. So it is not that big. Uh, yeah, how can we compare that? It even has fit in here, the back that covers the battery. Here also holds the probes. Pretty smart. Probes are included. Look at this. It's all there. Pretty nice, lucky find. And well, in that time there were no LCDs yet, I think. They still have the digital technology, but I didn't find a way, I think, to create the LCD displays yet. And it weighs nothing, really. Uh, let me compare it to a modern Tektronics or, well, less agent. Here, look at this size wise. And I must say, <laughs> the weight is more or less the same. Side. Yeah. Very small, very nice. But it does uh, work. Yeah. Well, if you would compare it now to a simple oscilloscope, although this was pretty uh, professional, um, maybe this one, the O1, already has LCD, of course, because it's from two years ago. But if it really that much bigger, yeah, a little bit, of course. Um, but remember, here is a real tube, and these channels, I don't think they are isolated. But what was in that time, what came after? Probably this one. This is a flux scope meter or the Philips. It is a 97. I, uh, I was bidding on a 93, but ended up with a 97 in the end. And this is also not that small. And it does already has an LCD, but if we compare it, I don't think the Tektronix was that bad in the end, size-wise. And they used a real tube. So uh, compare it to its own time, this was something special, super, super mobile. So switch it on. Oh, a beep. It comes, okay. And I think you can do some test things, but I'm not really familiar with all the buttons, but it is a digital oscilloscope. So you can switch from one channel to the other. AC coupling, DC coupling, or ground. Then you can do the second channel. AC, DC, ground. And that is an auto setup. Clack, 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 clack. So that already was there in the time. And I think you can even store stuff. Save, recall, I have a setup. Probably it's, I come into a menu, yes. Display invert, even can do XY mode. I need to start reading a little bit. And there is only one button for the channel, but you just select the channel you want. Oh. And then you can adjust it. And when you select the other one, you adjust the other channel. So you just switch over. And if you push again, you can select to put the channel on and off. I can switch one channel off, and now I have only one channel. So it kind of controls pretty good. There is an option to check if it is all set up nice. Well, it seems to be. I don't know what you can adjust there. It doesn't. So I don't know if you need to do now in the inside, or you can do it digitally. I need to read that. But there are things, and we can do config. 
and ah, the probes one two what else we can do identification version it's a 224 version 2.1 oh pretty cool digital i will dive a lot deeper into that uh, this was just a quick introduction but here on the back is a serial port a nine pin serial and you should be able to extract waveforms from here i don't know if it's live or it's just a csv file or i really have no clue i like to see what we can do with the software so i hope you can help me okay and then this uh, rfm signal scout the rfm uh, 151 and uh, well the batteries are not good anymore but you can just run it on 12 volts i did that uh, it has an f connector in the top and uh, but I just put an F2 SMA so I can put an antenna on it so we can play a little bit with the spectrum analyzer. And of course also I don't do the manual, I do have it. But also there is a serial board and I like to play also with that software, the CSS 150 or the 151. It came with the original bag and if you put it the right way around, here you put your accessories, there are a few F connectors there. But if you put it in here, it will be super protected. And you have your controls here in the front. Very smart. It has some padding to protect everything. So, uh, original. Pretty nice. I will need to see how I can clean this. Maybe just with water. I can put it in the washing machine. It all seems just fabric. So let's power it on. The display is not that bright. It lost a little bit this backlight. Well, we can look at that maybe later. Let me zoom in a bit. I think it's readable. And well, we can do a lot of TV analyzing, but I'm just pushing some buttons. So I push then a spectrum analyzer. And then we say general purpose. And if we do that, we are now on a, on a radio channel already. Let me see if I can do that better. Okay, maybe this is better visible. And the backlight doesn't work like this. I just put the full, uh, full light in the front. And now the spectrum analyzer can actually do from 5 up to 1080 megahertz. So it is pretty nice. We can do some sweeps, measure setup. But I think... If we put level channel one, we do nothing with. We have here meter. Yeah, let's get the signal meter. And we have a demodulation, and the demodulation can be FM, AM, or both. And volume. And we can do the bandwidth smaller or white it's this detecting is just a meter am am and fm or fm demodulation and you can change the reference but that is only for the meter here because the value here doesn't change and i saw something else that you could do is level and we can of course do field strength measurements but i forgot a little bit how that works yes here this is the radio if i do now level meter measure field strength yeah you can measure the field strength of this frequency that we are on of course it doesn't show any channels usually it would be with channels but i just now put a fixed uh, fixed frequency you can set the sweep also good as this year past but harry covert zijn ook gewoon boontjes and coco van is kip in mijn boy het ook viert dan krijgt je een heer Een goed cadeau, Pinder. Het is lastig. Morgen is het regenachtig en een stuk warmer, maximaal 9 graden. 
Utrecht voor Grijshoorst, 21 minuten door de auto met pech. So a lot more to find out how it works because if you do a different sequence of the buttons, totally completely different happens. So I really need to read uh, more about it. But I also saw here a serial port. So there is also a way to or control it remotely or can do maybe some snapshots of the signal that you put. So it is a signal strength meter. Uh, probably for the for the cable TV analyzer, there is the spectrum analyzer that you can really scan over the spectrum, and because it has AM and FM demodulation, you can just use it to as a radio or at least more or less a radio. It's a bit uh, bit heavy, but uh, you can tune your volume. Yeah, pretty pretty cool to have it, and it's a Tektronix. So if you have the software or you have had this device. Please go through your archive and uh, maybe you can help me with this. So that's it. Kind of a shameless video of uh, me asking you for software. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.